Well, we're here with Mr. College Football, Tony Barnhart. Tony, uh, got to ask you, Kirby Smart now, we wake up one day, he's the third longest tenured coach <laughs> in the SEC entering year six. Um, tell me about some of the changes you've seen from Kirby Smart since he's become the Georgia head coach. Well, when you when you watch coaches, when they, they you watch them evolve, you watch them learn, you watch them, because new coaches don't really know what they don't know. And Kirby's no different. I, it, it has been fun watching Kirby mature as a head coach, he, he he had done the right apprenticeship before he got, you know, he came back to Georgia as head coach, but uh, he's grown. There's no question he's a better head coach today than he was when he started. Georgia football now, expectations to win mm -hmm. national championships every year. Uh, you've seen a lot through this through the years of Georgia football. Uh, where would you say the Bulldogs are right now and some of the key changes that we've seen uh, over the years? Well, Georgia's, uh, Georgia football, I think, is in a really good place right now because, because several things have happened. They're recruiting consistently at a very, very high level, at a national championship level. That's number one. Number two, uh, I believe they just moved into a new $80 million football facility, which will only enhance recruiting and show the commitment that Georgia has. Uh, a coach told me a long time ago that – you know, a head coach's job is to put his team in position to win. If you do that on a consistent basis, you will win your fair share. And I think that's where Georgia is. I think Georgia's in a really good place right now, and this team uh, is as talented as any team I've seen in a long, long time. I was going to ask you about the uh, prospects for this year. The Bulldogs mm -hmm. obviously opening with Clemson on September 4th. You look at the schedule. You look around the league at the competition. How do you see this season playing out, Tony? I think the Clemson game is huge because what it does, if Georgia can find a way to beat Clemson, I think the schedule sets up really nicely for them as you, as you look at it. Obviously, got to play Florida and Jacksonville. Got to go to Auburn to understand that. But if they beat Clemson, I think they're in, in, in really great shape. If they lose to Clemson, then all their margin of error is gone and you got to run the table and probably beat Alabama in Atlanta. So I think there's a lot riding on the Clemson game. 